The other day, I got a comment complimenting me on how smooth my skin has gotten. And if you don't know me already, my name is Brian Turner, first of all, but I used to have extremely severe cystic acne. And all the time now, I get people telling me, I can't even tell that you ever had acne that bad because of how your skin looks. And I will say that this didn't just happen naturally. I actually figured out what would make my acne scars improve and how I could avoid wasting time. One of the very first things that I did when I got rid of my acne was I went on YouTube and I searched how to get rid of acne scars fast, right? And if you do that, you've probably seen it. There are loads of videos, some of them videos that I've made, and I'll link one of them in a card right here so you can go to that if that's something you want to learn from. But one thing I did not see was things to avoid when trying to get rid of your acne scars. Because in this video, I'm going to go over the top five things that you should avoid so that you do not waste your time or your money, but even more importantly, so that you don't make your acne scars worse because that can definitely happen. So without further ado, let's get into this list. All right, starting with number one, and this might blow your mind a little bit, but don't listen to doctors. And what I mean by this, two things. One, if you are talking to your general practitioner, just your normal doctor, a lot of times they will give you advice about everything, but a lot of stuff they didn't actually go to school for. And dermatology school is not something that general practicing doctors go to, but a lot of them, including mine, had no fear just telling me exactly what I should do with my skin. And a lot of that stuff was not backed up by science. It was really goofy. But also your dermatologist might not actually be someone you want to listen to because not every dermatologist is created equal. Some of them will still mix their opinions in there instead of keeping up to date with science. I found this Reddit post that kind of blew my mind. TLDR, my dermatologist said there is nothing I can do about my acne scars besides stay out of the sun and I'm having a hard time accepting that there isn't anything I can do. Any recommendations are appreciated. I read that and it absolutely blew my mind. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, but there is tons of scientific evidence that proves that you absolutely can do things to improve your acne scarring, your discoloration, your redness, all of that. So the fact that they would say this is crazy. And if you just listen to them, you might be discouraged from doing things that actually improve your acne scarring and ultimately your mental health and your well-being. So there's number one. Take what you learn from doctors with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Okay, number two is turmeric masks. Now, a lot of times when you go on YouTube, you will get all sorts of home remedy masks with all sorts of different ingredients like turmeric and honey and just a whole bunch of different stuff that you can find around the house and telling you to rub onto your face. Now, I'm not saying that all of these do not work or have any effectiveness at all, but what I am saying is that you will spend a lot of time, a lot more time, honestly, than you should trying these different remedies that ultimately do not work as effectively as the things that have been proven by science to work a lot quicker. And ultimately, honestly, if you're wasting time, I feel like you're wasting money. So a lot cheaper too. All right, number three, and this is very appropriate because the sun is blasting me right now, but sun exposure and tanning beds. Now, this might seem pretty obvious for those of you who are already in the skincare community, but a lot of people will swear that sun exposure is actually really good, not only for your acne, but for your acne scarring. And what I can tell you right now is that it absolutely is terrible for your actual repair of acne scars from the marks, the actual textural like divots, as well as the discoloration, like redness, erythema is exacerbated by sun exposure. This is crazy. I found this post on Reddit. Let me read it to you. In October, I went to my GP for advice on my mild but persistent acne. I was prescribed an antibacterial cream, which I used for about six weeks. It really helped and I no longer get white spots. Woohoo! However, I now have mild red scars. I had another appointment with a GP today and everything he recommended totally contradicted what I've read and learned about skincare. He told me sun would really help my scarring and therefore use less sunscreen and to think about using tanning beds. So again, not to just completely insult doctors and dermatologists, some of them are fantastic, but this is just proof that a lot of them are giving absolutely terrible advice because when sun exposure hits your skin, it actually slows down your collagen and elastin regrowth, which is what helps to improve your acne scarring. It can actually make it worse by aging you quicker and causing you to have less elastic skin, which then exacerbates how those, you know, those marks look. Number four, absolutely avoid derma rollers. Derma rollers are one of the trendiest, most popular tools that you see everywhere. And a lot of people were trying to push them a couple years ago. But even when you go on Amazon, you'll see these all over the place, swearing that they will help to improve your acne scarring and help you not age. Now, the idea is that by pricking your skin, it actually stimulates, 
collagen and elastin regrowth, which like I was telling you, is very important for repairing acne scarring, overall skin texture and health, as well as actually improving discoloration. You know, those dark marks, those purple marks, hyperpigmentation, as well as redness and erythema. All of that is absolutely true and proven by science, but derma rollers actually enter the skin and exit the skin in a way that cause new scarring to happen. So when you roll the derma roller onto your face, it actually enters at an angle, scoops your skin and exits at an angle. So it makes this long scratch mark on your face. This actually, one, doesn't improve your acne scarring, but two, creates new, specifically derma rolling style acne scars. You really need to stay away from these. Instead of these, you should use a derma stamp. A stamp is all the same science, but it's needles that go straight in your face and out of your face. And number five, I saved the best for last, but absolutely avoid expensive professional treatments, at least when you first start working on your acne scars. Now, when it comes to acne, acne scars, whenever you want to start working on it, I know because I've been there, I want to do the thing that works the best and is the most intense because I want it to work immediately and I want the results. But what happens a lot of times is that one, you do not need those treatments for the type of acne scar that you have. And two, some of those professional treatments are not the right treatment for your style of acne scar. So you may end up spending a thousand dollar per treatment for let's say a Fraxel laser treatment, right? And you might do three of those treatments and then you find out that the type of acne that you had, you actually needed something completely different. Maybe you needed subcision or fillers, or maybe you just overspend when you didn't actually need that severe of a treatment in the first place. You could have completely gotten the same results with much cheaper methods. Everyone's skin is different. We know that. And that means that everyone's skin reacts differently to different acne scar treatments, ingredients, all of that kind of stuff. So you really owe it to yourself to start at the base level. Don't spend a ton of money. Just do the most proven things like an alpha hydroxy acid, vitamin C, doing a chemical peel at home, doing derma stamping at home. See how your skin reacts over the course of a couple weeks. And if you're seeing good improvements, continue doing that and see how far you can get with that because I'm guaranteeing you it is always going to be significantly cheaper and more cost effective than going straight into professional treatments. I say this as someone who did three professional expensive derma pen treatments. And while I saw my acne scars improve by maybe 25, 30%, I saw more of an improvement by consistently using an at home derma stamping kit. And I could have saved myself a couple thousand dollars by just doing that instead. Now, like I said, I've made other videos to cover this. So if you want to see exactly what I have done to improve my acne, I'll put a link in the description below and a card on screen. But I highly recommend checking out Banish. It's the company that I have become affiliated with and become an ambassador of the team because I have gone into deep research on all the ingredients that they use. Everything is backed by science and I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't highly agree with everything they use, but also have actually used it myself. And like I said, I've been doing it for about two years now and my before and after is absolutely tremendous, like seriously large results from the beginning of using their products until now. So if you haven't heard of them, I think you owe it to yourself just to at least go on their website, read the testimonials, just learn about them a little bit. But I highly recommend actually starting with the starter kit and using the products that they have. I will put a link to that in the description below. It's banishbrian.com. You can use Brian5 to get $5 off your order. But that is it for this video. I wanted to tell you the five things that I wish I would have known before I embarked on my own acne scar journey because you can save, like I said, a ton of time by just avoiding these things. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps this video get out to a ton more people. Of course, subscribe for more skincare content like this in the future. Let me know if you think of other things that you want people to avoid when they're trying to get rid of their acne scars. And remember, you are not alone. You're beautiful. You're part of Team Acne. See you beautiful skin bosses in the very next video.